People ask me why there is a rattling noise in their motor from time to time. And what you'll figure out as you own a float tank for a long time is that you have voltage surges and you have power outages and you have different situations that allow the temperature of your solution to drop. If you have no electricity, it's very hard to make an electric water heater work. So when the solution temperature drops below 86.5, the salt will accumulate on the propeller and the propeller will become out of balance. And when the propeller starts to shake wildly inside of the impeller housing, it makes a purring noise or rattling noise or something that sounds odd to you. This can be fixed just by raising the temperature hotter than normal and melting the salt back off of the components that are annoyed by that. We had a customer the other day that left for a week and did not know that the power had gone off and the tank had not come back on. And we ran into a tank that was 68.5 degrees. So they had chunks of salt in the propeller area that looked like large pieces of plastic to them. And I said, put it in a cup of hot water and see if it melts. And it did. So when you drop below 86.5 and the solution becomes a salt component and a water component again, you will have stuff that is rattling and making funny noises. But the neat thing about flotation tanks is that warm water cures all ills. So when in doubt, put some hot water on it or raise the temperature of the tank and you'll be back in business.